What's good, y'all? What's good? Happy holidays. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, man, and I can't wait for this shirt to get tighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, man, there's a lot going on, man, and 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 and, and, it, and to jump right into this thing, man, I'm not I'm not playing, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Now, the situation at hand. I know people. You know people. We all got packages stolen from us, taken, gone in the loop. Not a good feeling. It hurt. You don't know if you'll ever see that item. Now, where I'm going with this is, many people I talked to, I warned them. I warned them. Just two weeks ago, I said, we already know it's a shortage in everything out there. It's a shortage in sneakers. Nike went ahead and already emailed small mom and pop stores. And they said, you're not getting these pairs until maybe summer or after summer 2022. Obviously, re resale game going to go up. But that also means people going to get more desperate. Now, it's funny. About three hours ago, my boy, he sent me a pic. He opened cool gray 11s. Opened the, opened the Nike box. No sneakers in there. Now, you got to be kidding me is what I'm thinking. Like, is this a joke? April Fool's? It wasn't a joke. He told me he knew the, bo the box felt like something was wrong. FedEx guy got him. Now, he got to do this claim, do this, do that. But it's messed up because now it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to call Nike and tell them what happened. And they're going to credit me. But who knows if that puts you in some type of thing where they say, you know, maybe he's playing games so he can't hit for a while. We don't know how that will work. So it's going to be interesting to see, but it's a dirty game out there, man. I mean, with everything going on in life right now, for a man to go ahead and take sneakers out of box, put an exception on a package and let it loop around for a day, risk it, risk it all for some Jordan 11 cool grades when he could do that overtime they got for the holidays. That's unacceptable, man. But every dog got their day, man. I'm telling everybody now, you got to stop letting stop letting packages come to your house. It's annoying. Some of us don't drive. Some of us don't live by FedEx. It doesn't matter. If you want the item, you're going to have to put in the work. See, it's going to be, it's, it, this is going to be the situation at hand. Could you be at work or out of town and feel comfortable? No one's at home and your sneaker is safe. Mmm. Everyone says, oh, I'm fine until it happens to them. I'm to the point, I even ordered something yesterday from Saks Fifth Avenue. I, I hop right on the phone. Once it says ship, that's what you're supposed to do. You get on the you get on the horn. Hey, I'm going to be out of town. Hey, I'm going to be at work. Please hold my package at the shipping center. Now, a lot of people got it good. One of my homegirls in Jersey you know, she told me I don't want to drive 45 minutes. I said, well, you better be happy because in New York City, depending on where you live, they don't have pickup points for everything. You may really have to go to JFK depending on where you live, especially in Brooklyn. If you live in certain parts of BK, train, bus, and you got to do a long walk or know which bus to connect to by the federal circle to get to them, the federal circle to get to those points. So, an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes each way ain't cool, but do you want the item or not? Because this is what it's going to come down to. Y'all yeah. going to get your stuff taken, man. I don't want to do this, but the odds is I had a homeboy whose stuff was taken twice. My homeboy today, you know what I'm saying? My homegirl thing, it looped. Now, you would think it comes in through New York to Jersey that it would just go to Jersey. No, it went to VA. Back to New York, Mass Path, that's the FedEx location. Then it came back, or UPS, one of them. Then it went right back. Well, that's one of their locations. They got more. But anyway, it came back to New York, through Jersey to VA, back through, through New York. So it's interesting because you can't deliver a package on Thanksgiving, from what I know. Um, so it'll be Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. That's, that's the proper word. So the situation at hand is this. You want to be lazy? You don't want your pairs? Someone's going to take your pair until you learn. It's not no more of 10 a.m. Mm, 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 mm. Got them. And you got them. No. You, you got to wait for that got them. You got to wait for the confirm. 
You got to wait for the shit. And now you got to do your part. What I like with FedEx is, boom, once it's shipped, I just call them up. Hey, um, I'm going to be out of town. Could you hold them at the, the uh, access point? Good. Now, the way the UPS one work up here, for me anyway, I don't know about y'all, but UPS is where is you can't go ahead and tell them to hold it until they make one delivery attempt. So you got to call Nike and say, hey, Nike, could you go ahead and hold that, please? And then they, they say, we put this in and within like an hour, sometimes two hours or less, they'll, they'll write you from Nike, hey, this is the location, boom, boom, boom. I find FedEx, FedEx to be more easier because they got more access points to where you could pick up packages, whereas UPS doesn't, at least in the area in New York City I'm in. So the way it's working out. A lot of people been hitting lately. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you 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 want these pretty sneakers right here to be taken? Oh, you want these sneakers right here to be taken? Oh yeah. So you couldn't wear the gray like me to match. You know my Nets playing the Celtics tonight. I'm feeling good. So I said, let me put on the gray since I got the cool grays, man. But just looking at them, man, it's like, I would I would, I would, would hate for that to happen, man. So many of y'all, it's just being lazy. We sneak ahead. Ooh, I got them. You don't got them until you open that box and they're there. That's, that's my new thing. I'm going to tell you a quick story. So just the other day, I had sneakers. That was supposed to come to me, yes, them Bordos, just yesterday, right? But the guy, I don't know why, the house address looked similar. If you glance at it, it was a business. They sell sneakers not far from me. Let me Not next door, but within a block or two from me. Who knows, whatever. The guy's not paying attention from FedEx. He just gives it to them. They sign for everything. I'm like, hold up. I saw the truck pull off. That's what saved me. So I put two and two together. Hey, my package here, y'all. Oh, well, uh, that's FedEx fault. Uh, we're going through stuff now through our, for our business, and we're going to go ahead and see if uh, we have No, no, you have it. If I got to call the police, I got to do that, you know? Well, if we have anything, uh, we'll take your information and call you. Luckily, they did. But the point is this. What if they didn't? FedEx drivers... UPS drivers, they're 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 getting a heavy workload. They want to go home. USPS, they're not paying attention. You could even have your package delivered to the wrong place. So I'm at, I'm to the point now that happened to me. Even with that, anything that mean a lot to me for now on, I'm just gonna have to put in the work and go get it. I'm not letting them deliver nothing no more for someone who's work working seasonal or new on a job to make a mistake because they they're gonna sleep good at night and I'm not. This shoe game, this sneaker game is getting competitive, even with clogs. So it's like, I'm not gambling and losing out on something that I got retail. Shout out to the retail gangs out there. Um, and, and, and just ruin, ruin my day. No, no, no. I'm not going to, I'm not going to have that to me. So what we going to do, and this is for the glory game. But now on, I'm telling y'all, if you can, just pick up the phone. It's not hard. Gonna be out of town. I'm gonna be working. Make them work at them centers. Make them packages pile up. I talked to the, the uh, FedEx man. He's like, you know how much packages we get all the time, and it's always some type of error. And then you gotta, you guys gotta remember with COVID, packages aren't being delivered sometimes, and you're scared. You're like, oh no, why is it doing a loop in a loop? Because they don't have enough workers anyway. So to stop all of that. I want my package held at the facility. I'll just ha you got five business days to go get it. So go get it. If you don't want your sneakers, give them to me. Or don't, e don't, don't even try on release day because it's a waste of time. It's going to get worse. Nike, again, they've been emailing all these businesses. Oh, we, we don't have the inventory at hand. So now people are going to start getting desperate because it's hard out here. So what you think resellers going to do? Number one, they're going to jack the price up. So the, the sneakers you could slap one $200 to get, it ain't going to be like that soon. That's my prediction and a lot of people's prediction. So, hey, 
He said, if you play with fire, you get burned. I'm not doing it. I want my pairs. It mean a lot to me. I've been putting in the work now for a few months. Like, like I said again, I knew I would be home when, this, when the Bortles came. So it didn't mean nothing to me. I was looking out. But it's just funny that if I didn't see where the FedEx man left from, hopped in the truck and pulled off, one of the workers at that business could have got me. And no one would have knew nothing. Nike would have said, here goes your money back. But I don't got the item. And I don't care if I got to pay $20 more. That's $20 I could have saved. So it's the holiday season. Whether it's sneakers. I don't care if it's items from Amazon. I done had that taken too. Amazon Fresh. I had waters taken before. Paper towels. You, you, <laughs> you just don't know what people would do. Everybody seems okay. But they ain't. I done told y'all what to do. I run by it through. I run by it one more time for you guys. If you hit through FedEx, most of them, especially, I'm speaking for New York City. I'm thinking it's like that everywhere. They have more pickup locations. So you once your package ships, it has to ship first. Then you hop on the phone. What? Well, with FedEx, I know you could log in and make it get hold. Matter of fact, make it get held. So you could try that. If that don't work for you. And your, your FedEx account, you call them at Nike, and they'll definitely do it. Hey, uh, I want you to put a note to hold my sneaker, please. Boom, they're going to do it. UPS, the same thing. You call them, give them the tracking number. Hey, uh, I'm not going to be home. It's been a lot of theft. Please hold my package at your facility. I'll come pick it up. Of course, your ID better match or have a lease or something that ma matches that, that, uh, that address you're picking up from. If your license don't match. They may give you a hard time. So like I say again, have a couple bills, bank statement, whatever. Because, uh, yeah, they're not making it easy to give them packages up because they, they could lose their job too. So it's been fun, man. Um, The last few releases, when you hit retail, as you can see, I'm loving them. But every dog got their day, so I stay humble. Keep grinding, man. And uh, again, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, More videos to come. More YouTube shorts to come. Y'all start checking them out. And you definitely got to share this content. This is the most important video that I done, I done made so far from um, NSNG. And it, this, could, this could save a lot of people heartache, man. So whether it's sneakers, food, anything, um, just be on top of your packages. Don't stress. And uh, happy Thanksgiving again. Eat a lot. Eat enough. Be good, y'all. No souls. No glory.